So welcome back. So let's just get an overview about how the program looks now that we've started to split things up before we actually need to move into the new application service that we're going to build in the next couple of lessons. So I've moved everything around now and I have something looking like this. I have um, the repository area is pretty much just where I have a single repository right now. And then we have creating the repository and the constructor for now. That's going to be dependency injected later. We init some data and I think that should be moved into an infrastructure layer. So I kind of move that data initialization down here. It's definitely not something that we want uh, as default in some kind of constructor because then it's hard to make this a production ready app later. Then we'd have to comment this out or else we'll have some kind of rewrite of our database all the time. So this is not something that belongs in a constructor at least. We're going to add it later using some different in-memory techniques so that when we are actually on uh, running on a development environment, a development environment, sorry, it will actually create these helper things for us so we don't have to recreate the data. We'll see the database automatically, stuff like that. So that's kind of why init data is its own small chunk right here. Then we start the UI and I've added in here is only, everything in here is now UI specific. So everything in here like asking the questions like we talked about, updating is also just UI specific in here. So everything in here is actually only questions with console write line or read lines. That's what belongs in the UI. We talked about that earlier. That's all that belongs up there, right? So I put all of that in here and right now it's just using these case statements to do a few calls to the UI and then in the end it calls application specific logic right here to actually save data. And there's also a bit of infrastructure logic but don't worry we'll split it up even further as we move forward. And inside when I kind of close that again, the UI specific stuff right here, let's just hide that. Then I've moved all the application service stuff that we need to start moving. I put that inside the application service region right here. And we just need to start moving all of this into application service over here in the core. So we can start unit testing it later on and we can just split everything up and get all of this out of our beautiful UI because we don't want it in there. Now when this is done, we pretty much created our beautiful architecture right here that we want to go for. The only thing we need is kind of to make a few dependency injections and then we are fully up and running. So let's just get started. Let's just start moving these guys from here, all the application service specific stuff from the UI down to the application core layer so we can start adding them inside the application service. It's not rocket science, but it's uh, something we need to do to kind of split up and make a clean architecture. See you next time where we'll start doing that. Have fun.